about Centering Discos. Well, today is uh, important to uh, speak to all of you about uh, what we are doing in our online store. So, today this video is about the difference of price between some fish. After you see this movie, you will to understand why some fish are more expensive than others. And today, in the online store, you can see the difference of cheap fish and expensive fish. We start putting some cheap fish with good quality, but with small defects. So, we're gonna try to teach you why a fish is more expensive than others. Because of the size of the eyes, because the pattern, because the shape, well, because the incorrect bars you usually see in many fish in the market. So all of these small details made the fish more cheap. So it's time to go to our website, online store, Santan Discos Plus and see what we have for you. It's high quality, it's good quality, but cheap price because some defects and perhaps for you doesn't matter. Thank you guys for following our work and make your comment, don't forget that, or any question about what you see in our movies. Thank you guys, thank you. The first price question is the shape of the wild discos. The shape it must be round because we speaking about discos, right? So more round and better shape, more expensive is the fish. There are very few wild round discos that we found each year during the fish season when the water going down. That's why we choose them for the shape. And why our stock is based on round fish. Most of the fish we have in stock, they have a perfect shape. Of course, the most cheap, the shape is not so round, like it's easy to understand. When we talk about less round, it's always cheap, like you can see in this fish in the movie. Then we have the eyes of the fish. Uh, wild discos with red eyes are always more expensive than fish with uh, yellow eyes. Uh, also the size of the eyes. Uh, size, big size, on wild discos uh, are only overground because uh, bad nutrition and a bad quarantine when they comes out of the environment. Uh, or they are really old, but that is easy to see when the wild disco is too old and have a big high. The color of the fish, um, let's talk about that. Uh, some fish have stronger colors than others and of course also different prices. Uh, the pattern is something that we pay a lot of attention when we select the fish. Obviously a fish with horizontal horizontal lines patterns uh, like a royal it's always more expensive than a royal with a crooked line pattern uh, it becomes uh, more difficult to find royals with horizontal lines uh, in the case of the solid wild discos the less marking they have and more solid, they are more expensive. In the case of ICAS, the bigger bar in the middle 
made the fish more and more expensive. But the ikas are always a really expensive fish because they are really rare and very difficult to find. Then we have the eyes of the fish. Uh, wild discos with red eyes are always more expensive than fish with uh, yellow eyes. Uh, also the size of the eyes. Uh, size, big size, on wild discos uh, are only overground because uh, bad nutrition and a bad quarantine when they comes out of the environment uh, or they are really old but that is easy to see when the wild disco is too old and have a big high is the stress bars we usually found more fish on Amazon with crocket and interrupted bars uh, than uh, with the right bars uh, for us, this is a defect, and when we see the fish with defect bars, obviously has to be cheaper. On the world market, uh, you will find, uh, find most of the fish with crocket and uh, broken bars. When we talk about expensive wild discos, the bars are always perfect and without defects. That is the point.